Let's see, what do I have for you today? I have a Warren Built Right game, junior quarterback football game. It's by Warren Paper Products Company of Lafayette, Indiana. Zip code 67902. Um, it's a football game. You're the quarterback. Choose your own plays. All the thrills of the big game. Passing plays, running plays, kickoffs, punts, field goals, kickoff, and punt returns. Uh, comes in this very thin uh, box. Not terribly sturdy, I might add. The rules are printed along the side of the box. You do not get a rule book or anything like that. You just get the rules here. Um, like I said, printed in three columns on the side of the box. Not much to them. I took the liberty of basically copying them out uh, on a word processor. and uh, So at least I have a paper sheet to look at. Um, there's not a lot to the game, but should you buy it, a complete edition inside, which you'll find is it's not that, I mean, it's old, but it doesn't have the rules printed on the inside of the cover like some games. Okay, what do we get? Focus here. You get a game board, which basically is an insert, basically a game uh, box insert. It has a football field printed on it. It has various charts and tables. It has This is timing, your timing uh, indicator went through uh, what, 1 through 20. Up here is your quarters, 1 through 4, your downs, 1 through 4. And then the markings on the field, starting here at your goal line, which you probably can't see. Starting here at the goal line, and then going all the way down to the opponent's goal line. Everything is based on line of scrimmage as far as yardage and penalties and fouls and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I might be mistaken on some of that. But I think it's all from line of scrimmage. Not 100% sure on... Uh, let me see. Fumble, lose ball after a four yard gain. So some of it's based on yardage after the gain. gain. Your game may or may not include dice. These are old SPI dice that I've rescued from a pile of SPI dice that I have. Yeah, I need two of them. Your game should also come with a yard marker, a quarter indicator, a time indicator, a down indicator, and a football. So that's pretty much all that you need to play the game. I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it plays. This game doesn't really have a date on it. Um, I think it goes back to the early 60s. I couldn't find any kind of copyright date on it, uh, on the product itself. Um, if you happen to know what it might be, leave me a note in the comments. Um, so, it says to use the current world of football. Well, that was as it was back in the 60s, I assume, so, or thereabouts. So, I'm going to go ahead. We've got the parts set up, pieces set up. We are going to just kick off from the 35, which I think is what they do today. If I'm wrong, once again, you can correct me. And I'm using the part of the football here, this line to indicate uh, where the ball is at any one time. This is going to cover up my table a little a little bit, but <clears throat> it's pretty much just a pick a table and roll the dice kind of game. Solo, it's just for one person. Um, I think a couple of the tables most definitely are made for the early 60s as far as some of the results on them, especially the point after try or point after touchdown and field goals. Um, I've modified those tables for my own purpose, but we'll play by the actual rules of the game. So, first thing you do, you um, 
will. Well, let's see. What's it say here? Yeah, there's 20 plays per per uh, half. Determine who will kick off and receive. Playing, kicking, playing. A player kicking off rolls the die and checks the sequence table for kickoffs. Well, let's see who's going to play. We're going to put uh, down here on this side. It's going to be the visiting team, and then over here will be the home team. Uh, even is the home team. It's a six, so that's going to be even. I don't know if see a die roll, but it was a six. Even is the home team. The home team will um, receive the ball. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go over here. And we are going to look at the kickoff table. And we're going to roll two dice. We roll an eight, five, and three. So we're going to look down the eight column on the kickoff table. Or, yeah, to the eight result. That's a 50 yard kick. So we're at the 35, 45. Did I say it was? 50 yard kick. 55. 50 yard kick would only put it on 35. That can't be right. Here, let's start that again. I'm very bad at math. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It takes it down to the 5 yard line. There we go. Now, we're going to run the ball back. And in that case, we'll use this table right here, the kickoff and punt return. Oh, what do we got? We have a 4 and 3, a 7. And we'll just use it on this table, I guess. There. So a 7 on that table indicates a 7-yard return. Or wait, what was that 8? No gain. So there's no gain on the table. The receiving team will take possession of the ball on the 5-yard line. I think that was accurate. If not, it's just a demonstration. This isn't like a real real game, so we're just doing a demonstration. All right, now what the uh, offensive quarterback or the offensive team will do is pick a play from any of these plays, other than <clears throat> kickoff, kickoff return, you know. You can't kick a field goal unless you're within the 30-yard line, uh, line, so we can pick uh, left end run, left uh, left tackle, left guard, center plunge, right guard play, the right tackle, or an end run on the right side. We can also do a long pass or a short pass. Well, let's go with a right guard play. So we're going to pick this play. Like I said, it's solo, so the defender doesn't really get to do anything. And we will roll two dice. Result is a six, the right guard table, and a six is a 17-yard gain. So then you'll come back over and you'll move your uh, line of scrimmage 17 yards. So there's 10, and then we'll go 11 and 12. Let's kick it down there. And then the football will be there too. <clears throat> I'll just kind of line it up here. It's, you know, the ball's too big or the indicator or 10 yard marker's too big. Or one's too big or one's too small to really, uh, really work effectively. So I guess we'll put the ball on the uh, 17 air weight. Math, it's hard on the 12. It was 17, 25, 26, 27. There we go. Sorry. Like I said, math is not a strong point of mine. And we'll go with that for right now. I'll figure out something better. Uh, before you pick to play, I should have moved the time marker one notch there, or one space. 
before each play, you're supposed to move the time marker. So anyway, it's moved. The next play, first down, we'll move it to the third time increment. And we will pick, let's play a left tackle up there in the upper left-hand corner. We roll uh, eight on the left tackle. That puts us at a three-yard gain. So, we gain three yards. One, two, three. And move the down marker, second down. And it's second down and seven. So let's try let's try a short pass play. So we're gonna do a short pass play. It's right there, pretty much in the middle of the screen. Roll the die, and it's a six. A six on the short pass is incomplete. So now we'll move up here, and it's now third down, and I'm gonna make uh, let's see. Well, let's try. Let's try a right guard play and see if I can roll high. So we're going to be picking this play here. Right guard play. And I didn't roll high. I rolled a six, which can't be too good. Six on the right guard is. Well, it is. It's a 17 yard gain again. Uh, let's see if I can figure that one out. Uh, that's five, so there's five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, then we move the first down marker. Indicate first down. And I think I should have moved the indicator. If I did, uh, it's no big deal. All right, so anyway, that gives you the basic idea of how the game plays. So it's just generic teams. You just, you know, home or visitor. Uh, there's not much more to it than that. Just did want to look at the extra point, though. Looking up the extra point average in the NFL as of today, I don't know what it was like back then. They've got quite a few uh, no goods, especially right around the most common die roll results of six and seven. Uh, I don't remember what numbers I came up with percentage-wise, but <clears throat> I found that they were really high considering that today's field or extra points are about 90%. So I just went ahead and made two and 12. Uh, no good and everything else is good. Field goals is kind of the same way. I felt that there's a whole lot of no good field goals compared to good. So I went ahead and changed that table just a little bit. Let's see. There's my point after table. And then the modified field goal table, I just chose 2 and 3 and 11 and 12. That might give a lot of good, a lot more good uh, results than it should, but uh, I'd have to play with it to know for sure. But I think that gives you better chances of kicking field goals since you have to Get to within a 30-yard uh, line. Now, granted, you're, you know, you would normally in real life, IRL, uh, add 17 to that. So that's going to reduce your chances in real life. But um, I don't know. Anyway, I just feel like uh, you get way too many no goods on the field goals. Although your most average results will be good. I mean, six and seven, eight should be good. Also, I think. But, Anyway, it's something you can tinker with. The game is eminently tinkerable. Uh, I even added a variant rule on guessing right and wrong plays. You can do it randomly. To kind of give the defense a little bit of uh, oomph to it if the play is guessed right. Which is determined randomly, basically, since this is a solitaire game. But... Anyway, that's pretty much it for Warren Biltwright's uh, junior quarterback football game. Uh, I found it on eBay for $20 postage paid, so uh, it wasn't a bad deal. 
And like I said, a while back I brought to you Warren Bilt Wright's Swish basketball game. So my collection is now up to two games. I don't know if they put out a basketball but it, or a baseball, but it'd be nice if they did. But when you own your own paper company, I guess you can produce whatever uh, game you want to produce. So anyway, that's a look at that uh, game. And yes, I have SBI football. So one day we'll take a look at it. Take a look at it. So until then. We'll talk to you later. Bye.